Well, hello and good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Country Cuss Shiny Report with another great lap steel guitar lesson. Well, everything is uh, looking lovely down here in South Georgia. The bad thing is we had rain right over to the uh, east of us, and I didn't get a drop of rain, and it looks like I'm going to have to turn the water hose on, water my onions and collard greens and uh, my mustard greens out there in the garden. They getting kind of dry, so I'm going to have to get that done. But anyway, with the lap steel lesson this morning, I, I seen a, there's a lot we got to cover. And funny thing, I was having, I'm having trouble. It's working now. But this morning and yesterday, I plugged my lap steel in, and I got nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. And I took my bar. I told you that bar is useful, too. I beat on the uh, volume pot, and must be something in it, loose or whatever. I'm going to take some contact cleaner, take this knob off, spray down in there. But anyway, it, it went bam, 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 and finally went back to working. So we working. Ah, I see a lot of questions on my Facebook page, Lap Steel Guitars. I see that everybody's kind of arguing over what kind of tuning. Well, let me tell y'all something. Uh, it ain't, ain't 100%, it ain't 100% important about what your tuning is. Not if you're playing a song or along with a band, because if they're playing a G and I'm tuned up in an open E and then, I tell you the reason I tune in open me and I teach in open E is because I teach people that's mostly guitar players that want to switch over and play a little bit of lap steel with the guitar music. And this is an open E, so that means that the last, we got three E's. We got E, B, E. So there's your two, two E's. E. Alright, anywhere on that guitar that you make a uh, uh, top string and go down on, let's say, the third fret on your bottom or top string on that guitar, it's a G. Now, if you was playing that in a, in the key, if your guitar was tuned in a D, a G is still a G, no matter where you put it. Let's say you was tuned in open D, and I, you hit the 12th fret. Now, I'm tuned in E, so that makes it an E. But if you tuned in open D, it's a D, or if you tuned in open G, it's a G. But let's say the band's playing a song. Well, that song is going to be... I hope y'all followed me, and we can do a, a one, four, five chord in the key of G. That's simple. It's G. Go to the fourth chord. Is a C. And then the five chord is gonna be a D. And that's regardless of what your tuning is. The key and the notes are going to be the same. Now, what's the difference, you say? <laughs> well, uh, a D, when you hit the strings, is tuned in an open D. It's the same as open G. It's just a little bit lower in the register, and I'll give you an example of that. Here's a lower G in the tuning of E. But I can come up here and also do a G at the fifth tape. But it's the same thing. Just a higher pitch and higher tone, but the same note. And when you're in a song, you ain't going to notice a whole lot of difference, but you know... playing in the key of G using 
them two G's are if you in an open E tuning and you play an E and E, you can, there's your knee. There's your nubby. to an A and a B and back to E and then no matter what tuning you're in if the band calls for playing in a E a A a B and back to the E you're going to play them notes they just going to be in a different spot with different tunings and it don't hurt to learn that I, I tune mine to different tunings and you know But it's more important to learn what you're doing with your bar, your picking hand, your bar hand. Like I said, for you beginners, always remember that your note is right on top of your fret, not in front of it. Right, right there. Or not behind it. Right there. Now, a lot of times you'll see me go... And what I'm doing there is making the guitar basically sing. It's, it's, it's just singing. So that's it's more important and also remember keep them dragging fingers down so you can go You ain't got that. Hear how bad that sounds? I will lift it up in fingers. Keep them on that, them strings behind that. All right, now let's try exercise that I've taught you before, but I want you to perfect it. We're going to play in the key of G, but we're going to start up there in the F, and we're going to hit strings, and I'm going to tell you the string numbers, and here we go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. You got that? All right. We're going to start up, and we're going to do a pluck up, whether you're using your fingers or pick on strings. Two and three, but we gonna go. You see how I do it? I go from fret one, two, and then we gonna skip string over to strings number three and four. So it sounds like this. It's like a country music shuffle pattern. And then you go. Go up to five, strings two and three again. And then do that skip string to three and four again. So here we go. And then we're going to go back to strings two and four again. And we're going to go and visit. And when I say visit, we're pausing by fret number five and number seven. And then we're going to stop at number eight, which is a C. Sounds like this. We don't hit the, we ain't even hitting the string until we get to the A, but we're pausing. And then we do that skip string again. So here's what it sounds like. Then we do a to number five fret and then to number ten. All I did was hit strings one and two and back up in. And then a lot of times I just give it a, a rake across like Now that 
count is a pull back with strings number one, two, and three. And then slide back to ten, which is a D. going too fast for you and uh, if you're playing in a G and you don't want to do all that movement and let's say the band's playing something that you just playing over real softly you can get that third string which is your G sharp String, they move it down to the fourth fret, and that's you see. But we ain't picking but one string, so it sounds like this. But that's a C. And basically, what that is, and this is for the beginners out there mostly, because I know everybody knows this scale. Watch this. Okay, did y'all get that? We'll do it again real slow, and this is on the sixth string. That just or you could just start on the G note all right that's the scale it goes from let's start at the uh Four string, one, two, three, four, on the third fret. That's a G note. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slide it down to the fifth fret. Then skip to the third string on the third fret. But this time, we're gonna half step to the number fourth fret. Then the second string back up to the third fret. The the fifth fret on the second string and this time we're gonna go way up to the second fret and that would be your G that's your C your D and your G again news clip about uh, I believe it was out in Texas called the Astros concert. I'm thinking that might be something to do with the ball team. I don't know, but I think several people got killed or eight. I don't know, but I seen the band and I don't know what they's playing, but I can tell y'all what my thoughts are on that. I think the reason them people got killed and stampeded was type music they was playing, I guarantee you they didn't have no steel guitar in their music and that created a panic. If they would have just had something like I don't 
don't think we would have had no trouble out there. But whatever it was they was playing must have really been some bad stuff to upset the crowd. So I don't know what the band was or anything. I hope I'm wrong. Maybe they did have it, but I didn't hear none of the music. But I can nearby bet you they wasn't no steel guitar there. Lap steel or pedal steel. And that's what the problem might have been, in my opinion. I just like good music. That's, uh, you can play rock and roll. It don't matter. You know, and get down with it. But you got to have uh, what I call the friendly beat. You know, like... <laughs> It does me. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for stopping by today with this lesson. I hope that you got something out of it, and I hope everybody's having much as fun as I am. We actually going to have sunshine for the first time for three days. Even though it's 42 degrees down here, the sun's going to warm us up. It's going to be a wonderful day, and I hope you have one too. Y'all come back and see us on hump day. Country Cubs Guitar Lesson.